Hello, good day everyone and uh, welcome again to our uh, recorded uh, Let's Play session here. Um, currently we're now playing one of my favorite mecha games which is, uh, you know, which is uh, Armored Core 3. I'm going to skip the first Armored Core because uh, that's a lot of grinding so I'm going to go uh, immediately directly play the Armored Core 3 Silent Line. And I'll be using the file that is on my progress uh, regarding... Uh, I'll be using my progress file from the previous game that I played, which is Armored Core 3. And, uh, I don't know, I, I can just kind of feel like playing this one as for Nostagalia. So anyway, uh, let's begin. So we'll just wait for the introduction here. Okay, right. It still kind of brings a lot of memories here when I play this mecha game. And, uh, ow. It's still, uh, still good in playing though, in, you know, for Costa Gallia. Oh god, that was bad. Okay, that was a nice good introduction. I approve of that. Alright, uh, so uh, we all have... Anyway, let's start our uh, gameplay here. So I'm just gonna load my previous save here uh, from Armor Girl 3 since this is the sequel. So I am going to convert the data from uh, my previous game save files. Yep, there we go. Let's just load this one. Okay, good. So I got three previous mechs from this. Layered, an underground refuge that became humanity's last chance for survival after prolonged national conflicts turned into the plans into an Osprey wasteland. Those who dealt with the sanctuary did not under the yoke of oppressive corporate conglomerates and an artificial intelligence, intelligence entity known as the Controller. The arrangement continued for centuries and as time passed, the residents of Layer 2 ever more complacent. Not everyone bought into this existence and it wasn't long until the individual took matters in their own hands. This person, a member of an elite of pilots known as Ravens, destroyed the controller and freed mankind from its grasp. A new age began that day and the humans were once again able to return to the planet's surface, now healed of the wounds it has suffered. At the same time that humans were freed from their self-imposed exile, so too were the corporations from the shackles. With nothing to stand in their way, the corporations immediately commenced their plans to redevelop the planet's surface. Ah, the present. Surface developments play are well underway, but the recent change blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. The attempts have been made to investigate further region where the occurrences took place. Corporate conflicts all over such things as land and mineral rights are becoming increasingly common in auspicious races by yeah as always corporate disputes are settled with the aid of an impartial third party a raven with the continuation on the surface steadily escalating out of control there can be hope for a lasting peace okay uh, recover with the brink of being lost yet again right well, at least I'm not going on the tutorial like on the uh, Armored Core 3 now. Okay, we got new mail. Um, let's check on our mail here. Global Cortex. Uh, the message is to inform you that your registration login is now complete. Welcome to Team Raven. On the off chance that it was not mentioned during the initial screening process, please allow me to briefly highlight a few aspects of our firm specializes in dispute resolution, the majority of which relates to corporate rivalry. We help fund and supply mercenaries such as yourself, and for a hefty fee, offer our clients access to the stable, to this stable of mediators. 
Yeah, basically guns for hire. As far as Raven-Client relationship is concerned, what is something we allow both parties to settle on by themselves? We do not enforce requests upon pilots, nor do we tell clients which pilots they have to employ. This hands-off approach also extends to issues that may arise between client and yourself. After all, intensive purposes, global cortex responsibilities end once you are locked on a mission contract. Yeah, they're, they're basically more like the employment agency nowadays. It's very much the same. Services we do offer to those in our employ include AC repairs, oh wait, access to parts, upgrades, and munition stores, as well as limited mission update support. Costs are associated with most of these, so keep track of your credits. Uh, yeah, credits. Okay, yeah, wh wh whatever that means. I uh, kind of lost track. So my agent right now is Ema Sears. Hello, Raven. My name is Ema Sears. I've been appointed as your Global Cortex agent. If it's all right with you, I'd like to get into uh, it. Shall we redevelop? Plus, yeah, yeah, okay. Right, okay. Well, that's a good... Uh, so let's start things up with my... Uh, well, uh, with the system here. So we're going to save data from slot number one. Okay. There we go. Let's just wait. Oh, by the way, I'm playing via emulator this time because uh, I don't really... Well, I kind of owned this game a few years back, but my uh, PS2 kind of broke down. So uh, I'm now using an uh, emulator. And... Uh, I mean, frankly, uh, computers are much more efficient back then compared to computers to th way back the era of 2001. Okay, so we got our uh, save saved that uh, saved on this one. Uh, our progress is still zero. So let's see on our garage, what uh, AC is best suited. Oh, okay. So uh, I'm gonna make a little bit tweak with this one. Um, let's see. Okay, I'll just use this one. Uh, I don't know. Do we have something here? Yeah, I guess we're left with this. Okay, um, I'll just use this. Uh, So we're kind of overweight in some extent here. Probably have to change my uh, uh, legs or something. So, okay, uh, um, do have legs here somewhere. Yep, we're just gonna buy this one. Oh, how much was this? Sixty-seven credits, and I only got eight thousand. Uh, 8,200. Okay, I'm just gonna probably have to sell uh, some parts here. Um, shop. Oh yeah, I uh, forgot. So, the square button here is the sell button. Okay, yeah. Um... I don't really need a heavy armored part, so uh... Yeah, well, I'm just gonna sell this one. Price is 60... Yeah, uh, that's a good way. So on the shop, we'll just... Um, I don't know, buy something here. On the legs. Uh, This is usually my build for almost uh, since Armored Core 2, so uh... Wait, 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 um... Legs. Wait. Oh yeah, I got it. Okay. 
So we got an efficient leg weight about 5,400 and uh, we're still overweight though. Yeah, okay, so I guess no more flamethrowers for me. Kinda like this one. Um, okay, so there's a, I'm gonna go a, li a lot of a uh, little bit of a uh, changing here. Uh, this one's okay. I'll uh, probably have to buy parts here on the shop. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I played Armor Core 3 here. Oh, I don't have the flathead. Okay. Um, assembly. Oh. Okay, uh, we do have a limited head. Okay, we'll just keep it on the uh, antenna head with this one. Um, for this guy, I'll probably have to change his head. A little bit more suitable type. So, I am still overweight for 200. Uh, let me check on uh, optional parts. Yeah, this is basically where I could use some super uh, cannon here. Unfortunately, I have to switch on almost all of my uh, parts. Okay, uh, let me check the assembly if I'm still overweight. Okay, so just give me a moment here. I will be uh, making some configurations. Just to, uh, it will take me a while. Okay, so uh, I finished on tweaking with my uh, mech here. So uh, let's now uh, proceed on the mission settings here. Oh, by the way, I'm going to save, save this one on the uh, save state. Okay, so there we go. Uh, let's proceed on the mission. Okay, all layered. Wow. Oh, sorry. Eliminate the rogue engineer. Hmm. Okay, so it's pretty much uh, what do you call this? Uh, pretty much old school. So okay. Raven, we have an urgent assignment. Your target is one of the engineers involved in the construction of our newest facility. Right. It must be eliminated. Okay, sure thing. The facility in question will eventually serve as a military outpost. The fact that it is to this end, all engineers involved in the project are to be confined there for an unspecified amount of time upon its completion. Oh, One okay. of them refused and took control of the security system. Well, they have their reasons. Of course, they don't want to be prisoners. It may seem like a drastic measure, but the only way we can guarantee his silence is to eliminate him. <coughs> Sorry. Good luck. Yep. Okay, let's get started with this one. Yep, let's commence the mission. Oh my god, do I have the same equipment here? Or I'm... Oh well, uh, I'll just uh, find out. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Okay, well, it's a good thing that I... Right. We'll release the gate box one by one. Eliminate any opposition you encounter. Area secured. Proceed to B-block. Wait, B-block. Alright, um... Okay, let's go. Yeah. 
Right, okay. Right, let's get ready. Oh, okay. Check here. Let me check on this part. Here. Okay, so I'll just go. Okay, let's get a rip with this one. Oh, that was quick. Okay. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Yay! Approved. Okay, so how's the pay? Oh, okay, not really that much. It's just only 4,000 credits. <laughs> Okay, right, right. Uh, how about the mission? Old Lear. Well, we got to escort transport, which is basically a submarine, and um, dispersed gathering. It seems that dispersed gathering is much more a uh, higher pay compared to the. Uh, but let me take a look with my. Uh, Let me take my uh, shop here for a while. Garage. Yeah, I always wanted to test my super duper laser here. Yep. Oh. I probably have to change my uh, ammunition here. Uh, 600. Well, this is something. Um, I guess the design was uh, really problematic, so I better launch the vertical launcher. Um, oh, I got a we better weapon design here. This one. Hmm. You know, the main problem here is balance. Probably have to keep on the uh, do 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 do. This is one of the most tedious things here in this gameplay. Well, what's this? Uh, Multi warhead missile launcher. Well, the Type Power 700, this one's 1,300, I prefer the vertical type. Okay, so for now, uh, that's our most uh, good build here, but I think I'll probably... already got a missile launcher, anyway, so I'll probably have a machine gun of some sort. Much more accurate, I guess. So, uh, there, I'm going to save the state here. 
Okay, um, yeah, before I go to a mission, I'll probably go to the arena. Yeah, I think I'll go for the arena. So let's do a little bit of a uh, challenge fight. Oh wait, wait, wait. Um, okay, my mistake. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go uh, do a separate recording for arena battles. So for now, we're just gonna go for missions here. Okay, we'll just go for the old layer. Um, this one, I guess. We'd like you to investigate reports of a suspicious gathering in Sector 517. The sector has been under Mirage's control ever since Crest withdrew from the area. Unfortunately, given more pressing issues, we've neglected our duties there. This oversight ends now. As the administrator for the area, we have a responsibility for its security and integrity. Okay. Suspect activity, such as the gathering taking place there now, is best quelled early on. We're sure you'll resolve the problem to our satisfaction. Yeah, basically murder and kill everyone here. But our uh, raven, so that's our contract here. <laughs> Enemy strength is unknown. Proceed with caution. A raven, attack! Oh, great. Main system. Some specialized parts here. Oh, they don't. Okay. Okay, well, that was easy. Close, so I guess we have to move here. All right, so time. Very, um, uh, where was I? Well, that's not exactly efficient when it comes to, uh, I guess I'll 
I guess that finishes the uh, mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. Okay. Ow. Oh. Great. Can you imagine that my ammunition is negative? And I am negative 6,281. That's not very good. I better head off with the arena. Okay, so for the moment, uh, since I'm negative on the credits, I'll, uh, I'll probably be hitting the arena here just to pay it off. Okay, great work, Regan. You, the group intercepted was trying to indicate anti mirage sentiments. Yeah, this was obviously a weak attempt put effort in Big Crest in effort to regain control of the sector. Ever since the controller's demise, Crest has been taking an active interest in uh, filling the void left behind. We've admittedly been far too lax maintaining our presence in Lair, but only because all our efforts are currently concentrated on them. Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay, I'll better go change some uh, hardware here. Because, uh, you know, uh, uh, we kind of need this something on the arena here. So we'll just go assembly. We need that uh, super duper uh, laser cannon operational. Uh, there we go. Well, we don't really need much armor, so uh, we'll probably shift our heads with this one. Oh, we're still overweight. It's eh, not really good. Um, what do we got? Five hundred. The tech power is just. Half the strength. Yeah, I have three hundred. Everything's almost overweight here, which is annoying. So uh, the generator I guess balance balance cooling force cooling radiator hmm. yeah, this is really a problem with me on how overweight here. Okay. Ah, this is one main problem that I always have uh, on AC games. It's my weight issue. Yeah, 
I guess uh, we'll just have a hand handgun here. Our main uh, our main weapon here is close range will be the flamethrower, and uh, for long range will be the laser. So we only had limited ammo stores here, but uh, the fight doesn't need to last long, especially when it comes to arena. So there we go. Okay. Yep, let's start with this one. Okay, there we go. Let's wait for our loading. <laughs> okay. One more, one more. Oh. Hey, well, he's resilient. Bye bye. Oh. Okay, that was quick. Approved. We won. Uh, okay, we'll just go for the replay here and uh, I want to see how we won. So it's a good thing that from my previous gameplay I received a special part here where I could use my back weapon while running. Uh, in other AC games you have to have some sort of uh, you have to have a negative 60 credit just to get that guy. It's more like something about uh, you know, cybernetically enhancing the pilots, but uh, here uh, we can just get it naturally. Uh, we just only have to get our own parts. Okay, so that didn't last long. Okay, let me get those uh, credits so I could get out of my depth here. <laughs> right. That'll be good. A sore loser who can't stand defeat. He prefers to lay the blame for his losses on malfunctioning equipment, bad timing, or any other excuse I can come up on the fly. His arrogance is matched only by his bullheadedness. Okay, we'll see what we can do about that. Yep, same thing. We're gonna go for the arena. Do 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 do. Okay, as usual, we'll go for the pulse cannon. Oh god, got slashed with that. Bye bye. Oh. Well, that was quick. It only took a few seconds there to do to defeat him. Uh, okay, let's just uh, go for a replay because uh, it's only a few seconds, so that was a killjoy. But anyway, his uh, armored core is uh, lightweight, so it's less armor, so it's easily going to penetrate any energy weapons or um, okay, that's one clear shot, second, and on top of that, I use a flame for a while. I guess that ends the battle. Okay, uh, let's do the cancel. Okay, we're gonna go for a third one here. And uh, see what we can do. Okay, that's 9,000 credits. Uh, let, oh, I got mail. Let's see. Okay, so we got two males here. One is from Global Cortex and from Little Bear. Congratulations on your first victory, Raven. The arena is always in need of fresh new pilots to keep it vitalized. The Arena Operations Bureau will provide you with a part reward each time you res 
you reach a certain rank please check your garage to receive the KDB oh okay uh, it seems like I got a reward here I better check this one out and little bear great match Raven far exceeded my expectations next time we will meet I will be better prepared okay well he's a sporting champ uh, compared to the previous armored, armored core 3 arena uh, those players are more like uh, they're kind of sore losers, but this one they seem to be on friendly terms. But anyway, let's check on my garage here. Uh, I've been given a reward. Left part. So... Um... Napalm Hortizer. I guess it's the Napalm. But I'm not really introduced. Uh, I'm not used to that. I go for uh, the flamethrower. So of course for missions, I'll probably have to change my loadout here. Um, yeah. Okay, let's uh, proceed now again on the arena. Uh, okay, just give me a moment. I'm just gonna save this one. Okay, there we go. Right, we're gonna go for Bouquet here. She suffers from Nisha and struggling to recover to recollect her past. The word Raven sparked something and she decided to pursue the lead in hope of having a breakthrough. Frequent pauses during battle leave her vulnerable to attack. Okay, so I guess he has some sort of... Uh, well, he has some sort of learning uh, challenge or... Or uh, what do you call this? Mentally challenge or something like that. Anyway. Uh, let's proceed with this guy or girl. Actually, it's she, so the pilot is a girl. Okay, same arena. Or we could change the arena. Um, we'll go for the tropical forest. I guess that's kind of cute. So just, uh, just to have a change of pace anyway. <laughs> Or I guess uh, that pilot suffers from short-term memory loss. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. 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 Uh, yes, he's very good, huh? Okay, we got... Alright, one more, one more. Where are you shooting? Okay, there we go. It's a win! Uh, okay, I like to see that. Although it's a short win, so uh, let's see how it works. So it's a jungle warfare, so we can't really see each other here. Honestly, the camera is more better in Master of the Arena compared with this one. So that's the end of her. <laughs> right. Okay, that's one thousand credits. Um let me check. What do they have in shop here that is interesting? Well, this one's 250 ammo, not very good. Um, yeah, there isn't much selection when it comes to weapons, so we're not... Uh, okay, inside... 
Um, okay, well, uh, hmm. okay, right, right, right. Uh, we'll just keep it for now on that. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, I forgot arena battles. Okay, let's go for arena battles. Um, so uh, arenas here is not gonna be a problem because uh, you know I'm still way over too powerful. But I'm gonna finish E rank right now. Okay, so he flies a true survivor. Colbuck Blue overcame a series of childhood illnesses through sheer determination and strength of will. He brings these same traits to the arena and is not and is one of the lower tier's most popular competitors. Okay, right. Yeah, we're gonna challenge this guy. Uh, yeah, we'll go for the arena. <laughs> Well, he's light armored. That I can see. Alright, one more. Oh, okay, that's a problem. So we're just gonna roast him here. There we go. Easy kill. Nah, I think we're playing enough. Hmm. Okay, twelve thousand credits. Um, no new mail. Okay. Uh, right. We'll go in for the arena and just finish all the E ranks here. Uh, unafraid to meet his opponents head-on, Seven's Heaven's AC is capable of both withstanding punishment and, make, and meeting it. The combination of her piloting abilities and confidence have the downfall of many arena hopefuls. Okay, uh... Yeah, I'll probably have to fight him on the military district. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Do, 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 do. Okay, system engaging combat mode. Where is he? Oh. Alright. Oh. What the hell? He flies? Oh yeah, I forgot. On with that. One more. Wow, that was short-lived. Another win! Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 Okay, um, yeah, let's do just that. Whew! Okay, we just got two more for the whole uh, E category here. So, next one will be Profit. Uh, a pilot with very few arena victories to his name and an even worse mission completion record. He is convinced that he possesses great talent, but his performance doesn't bear this out. Uh, target acquisition issues prevent advancements. So, he's... Uh, well, the very overconfident type, I guess. So anyway... Mm, I don't know. Tenet City will be nice. Uh, let's see if my computer will not... I think I have a habit that my computer will break down if it's on Tenet City. But anyway, let's... Uh, okay, uh, let's just hope that my computer won't hang up with this one. Mm-hmm, <laughs> Oh, 
What's this? Oh! Yeah, right. Oh, shit. Okay, this is more problematic. I should have bought the, uh... Alright, we're just roasting that guy. Oh my god, I'm already 3,000. Oh god, did I just got lost? Oh god, this is embarrassing. Okay, so I got lost with that. So I'll probably have to change an armor or something. Oh wait, I got a perfect uh, AC there. Right, so I'm gonna change my uh, AC here to a high speed one. Um, yep, there we go. Um, yeah, I think vertical launch missiles will be fine. Okay, so this will be our uh, our uh, AC now, which is a red one. It's very fast. I'm just okay, we'll do this the old-fashioned way. Turns out he also has the same back weapon as I use, which is around... I guess 6,000 uh, per attack, so... Well, my back weapon also has some uh, problems because... Oh. Yeah, that's the problem with my uh, back weapon. As you can see. It's not very good when it comes to high-speed battles. Ah. Well, that was quick. Well, a win. Nah, I'm not gonna go for a rematch. <laughs> okay, that's finished it. Gimlet. Hmm. Okay, well, I think we should use a high speed uh, battle again with this one. Same goes with the arena. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it should, uh, my mech should be more on missile focused, if I recall. Yeah, I probably have to change it though. Fight, Flint. Okay, let me uh, just give me a moment here. Okay, we'll do a replay. It's kind of an exciting fight because it's a very close fight. Okay, they made an over boost. Uh, quite fast. Okay, well, uh, I guess that's enough.
Okay, let me uh Okay, so uh this will be our final battle, gold bit. And after that we're gonna con we're gonna conclude on our uh playthrough uh session for that. Let's read the mail. Uh Gimlet. There is no way someone like you could defeat me. This must be some kind of mistake. I demand a rematch. Yeah, we could go with that. And Gimlet. Making it this far is very commendable, but I think you just about reached your limits. My recommendation go back to the bottom feeding before you get hurt. Okay, so we got an overcompetent guy with that. Well, I did show him a thing or two. Let me check on his uh, arena here. Gimlet. Uh, no. He's not really that, uh, you know, he's not really that, uh, he's not really that intimidating. So anyway, I'm just going to change my uh, mech here on the assembly a little bit. Let's go a little bit tweaking here. I plan this make to be, since it's high speed, it has to be fast enough and agile enough to, uh, you know, withstand, uh... Well, oh! What do you know? I can still have the heavy cat. Uh... Hmm. Uh, and I'm not overweight from the looks of it. Pushy shell base impact generator capacity. Um, well, I prefer this mech to be a missile base, so I'm not gonna go with the. Uh, um, probably use a vertical launcher or something. Uh, yep, vertical launchers for this, and another horizontal missile. Uh, Yeah, back R. Small missile, lock on six. Uh, ultra warhead missile launcher. Well, this is nice. Okay, there we go. So, uh, we're just gonna proceed on our. Oh, wait, I'm just gonna save this one on my uh, instant save state because uh, I'm using an emulator. Okay, there we go. And. Gold bait. Well, membership in a radical group striving to revive long lost tradition because. Oh, he also has a missile launcher. Has caused her some label to be uh, old fashioned. She adheres to the textbook strategies by this beginning. Okay, well, Clover Knight. Yeah, let's fight the Clover Knight with this one. <laughs> let's just wait. All right, system engaging combat mode. Oh. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna do some rocket power. Oh, good missile defense. So I guess that concludes our uh, fight. So I now have the whole E block section of the arena. So let's ha um, let's have a replay with this. <laughs> okay, we'll go for third person. So we just usually move on to one direction, more like I'm just strafing here. And then I let my auto uh, missiles and uh, that machine gun, uh, you know, attack this one. Oh, he has an energy shield that looks of it. 
Okay, we'll just uh, conclude that for today's uh, gameplay session. So I'm just gonna save this one. Okay. So we're just gonna save this. Um, right, data save, uh, memory card uh, number one. There we go. Okay, so um, thank you for watching everyone. So if you kind of like my video, click on that like subscribe uh, button. It will really help me uh, a lot. So for now, that concludes our, uh, well, our Let's Play session in Armored Core 3 Silent Line. So again, this is Operator 6.0. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye-bye.